What is the best free landing page builder for affiliate marketing? Well, in this video, I'm going to answer that question. I'm going to review the best three. And then at the end, I'm going to share what I use today. Hey, Sars Haig here. If you're new to my channel, I share tips and tricks for freelancers, solopreneurs, or anyone looking to start or grow their online business. So today we're talking about the best free landing page builders. Now I've used all of these before. They're all really good um, and they all have great free plans. So each of these uh, has a free email autoresponder so you can collect email addresses, which is vital for affiliate marketing so that you can actually start building your own email list. Um, so these are the three here. So number one we've got is ConvertKit, and then we've also got Aweber and GrooveFunnels. Now you might have known, might already know about ConvertKit um, and Aweber that are mainly just email autoresponders, um, and then GrooveFunnels is a landing page website uh, website builder. Um, but with ConvertKit and Aweber, you can still build landing pages for free um, inside the, that software. So just bear in mind, if you're checking out a lot of different um, so softwares like this, uh, just keep in mind that some email providers aren't affiliate, affiliate marketing friendly. So just make sure to check out their terms and services if you're checking out any other free alternatives. So the first one is ConvertKit. Now, um, this is just inside ConvertKit. You can get your uh, the free account and you can just go into the landing page and form section here. And if you just scroll down, you can click create new. And then you can click landing page here to um, create a landing page for free. And they have a lot of different templates here, as you can see. Um, as far as I'm aware, there is no option to start, start um, a landing page from scratch, but there are plenty of different options. So if we just choose this one, you can have a little look <clears throat> inside the builder and you can you know, edit the background, edit the images, add in new um, fields, um, whatever you want, change this if you want to change the background color of the button, all those kind of things inside the convert kit. Um, landing page builder and then just click save and publish when you're ready and you're happy with it. Um, and the next one we have is Aweber. So this is inside the Aweber landing page um, builder. So if we just go to the landing pages here and then you can click create a landing page. And as you can see, similarly to ConvertKit, they've got a lot of different templates here. Um, they have actually also got the option to start with a blank canvas so you can create your own customizable one. Um, so let's just go with this one. Now I like the, uh, the interface of the Aweber um, landing page a bit more than ConvertKit. There's a few more options a bit, and it's a bit more customizable um, inside this builder. You know, you can add columns, you can um, change a lot. It's a lot, it seems a bit more customizable. Um, and then again, once you're done, you can click save and exit and then publish it. And then the last build up we've got is GrooveFunnels. Now this is inside the GrooveFunnels platform. So if you just click um, on your, when you get your free account, you can just click manage sites and funnels. And then you can just click new site here and we'll just click the free template. So again, you can create a start, start from scratch here. Um, and there's a lot of different templates for you to use here too. So let's just go for, uh, let's go for this one. Um, and start building. Now this, uh, is probably the most customizable one. Um, there's a lot of different options inside the builder here. And you can actually add different, um, different more pages. You can create funnels as well. Um, if you want to start um, selling other products, that kind of thing. Um, Pop-ups, you can check out the stats for everything. Um, so to me, it just seems like it's got the most options when it comes to uh, a free landing page builder. Uh, here are all the different elements here. So if you just want to add in an icon list there, you know, you can do all sorts within it. And again, once you're done, you just click publish and um, you'll have your landing page builder ready to go. So when comparing these landing pages all together, um, as you can see, uh, they're all drag and drop, which is great. Um, although ConvertKit is probably the most limited with that. Um, you can't really create one from scratch. Uh, they all offer lots of different free templates. 
You can link your own custom domain names on all of these, which is crucial um, when it comes to affiliate marketing, because when, when the link looks a bit odd, um, you know, it can uh, give you, not give your site as much trust. And all three have great affiliate programs. So, um, you know, as a, an affiliate marketer, you might be looking to promote some software as well. Um, all three of these have some great uh, affiliate programs as well. So what makes each stand out when you're comparing the three of them? So to begin with Aweber, it's the most budget friendly uh, if you ever want to upgrade. So um, with the three of them, you can, you can get at least 500 subscribers for free um, to your email autoresponder. Um, but after that, you might start looking to upgrade once you become a bit more advanced. So um, Aweber offers the cheapest um, subscription pricing um, if you're ever looking to upgrade. Now ConvertKit, um, to me, it just, it has, firstly, it has the highest amount of free subscribers, which is great, it's got 1,000, whereas the other two have just got 500. Uh, and the way they organize things inside the software to me is just the most simple and intuitive. Uh, for example, the way that ConvertKit organizes your email list, uh, it just means that you're much less, li much less likely to send duplicate emails or have subscribers added twice. Uh, now, as ConvertKit and Aweber are mainly autoresponders, both of their landing pages uh, are quite limited. Whereas with GrooveFunnels, um, it's, while it's a, a whole suite of tools, uh, free tools, their main focus when they first started was creating a fully customizable landing page, website, and funnel builder. So there's a lot more options and flexibility in what you can actually build inside this software which is really important if you're looking for a landing page builder. Uh, the downside to Groove is that because they're still in beta, their autoresponder is very limited at the moment. Um, so when you're trying to build your email list, uh, that is very limited at the moment, um, but that is something they're working on. Now, before I tell you what I use, it's important to note that all three of these are great tools and other people might have different preferences. Uh, so I'd recommend trying out all three free plans having a little play around, see which interface you like and which seems most intuitive to you, uh, which builder you, you become most familiar with, uh, and then just think about which one you could see yourself using in the foreseeable future. So my recommendation and what I currently use is actually a, rec a combination of ConvertKit and GrooveFunnels together, uh, and I'll explain why. So I use ConvertKit just for their autoresponder, not their landing pages but I will eventually transition over to using GrooveMail once they've ironed out all the kinks. So that's part of GrooveFunnels. Um, so I use ConvertKit as the autoresponder because I preferred, I just prefer the layout to Aweber and I found that ConvertKit actually has the best uh, deliverability rate. So a lot more emails um, are actually going into the inbox rather than spam when you compare it, when I was comparing it to Aweber. Um, and then I use GrooveFunnels for everything else. So for creating landing pages and all that, um, it's just the best because it offers the most customization on landing pages. You can easily share and all receive landing pages that other, others have built. So there's a lot more, again, a lot more customization there. And it's just a complete suite of free tools that, you know, as an affiliate marketer, you'll most likely end up needing. Um, they've got a lot that they offer there all for free. Um, so that, you know, rather than sticky taping together, lots of different tools, you can actually use them all just in one. And also one of the big things for things for affiliate marketers, uh, if you're using paid ads, a lot of platforms like Facebook and Google don't like standalone landing pages for affiliate marketers these days. So if you're sending traffic from um, to a la just a landing page and that's all it is, uh, they, they don't really like it as much these days. So with GrooveFunnels, you can actually create a very simple website quickly and easily alongside your landing page. So you can have a simple homepage about us, terms and conditions, et cetera, all those kind of things, just so it all seems a lot, it's all a lot more legitimate um, rather than just a standalone landing page. And also when you get more advanced and you need to start paying for one of these softwares, um, which you most likely eventually will do, but by that time you'll be making enough that you won't be worried about not having the free software. Um, I prefer Groove because I don't like paying for subscriptions and the fact that they offer a lifetime deal was just a big attraction for me. So keep that in mind if you ever need to upgrade. And on that note, 
I've got a link to GrooveFunnels down in the description below. So if you sign up to your, for your free account using that link uh, in the description, you'll also get my bonuses on top of that. Uh, and one of which is a free uh, video series training course on how to get started with Groove uh, and how to understand how the builder works and everything like that. So um, be very helpful for someone getting started. Um, now, as I said, just check out all these different uh, free plans and see which one works for you. Uh, if this video helped you out in any way, please give it a like. And um, other than that, hope you have a great day. Hope you have a great week and I'll see you in another video.